Welcome, travelers, champions, heroes, and villains, to the adventure. Last we left off, we uh, beat another challenge of, I believe, the white and blue deck. So today we have earned white and green, so we need to cast a bunch of white and green spells in order to get a blue-black deck. Continuing along with the free-to-play challenge, so we will be playing the white-green deck that we saw a few players using the last time. We will be using the deck Lifeline. It's green, white, life gain, pumping through that. Honestly, don't entirely know because I haven't really played it. Just kind of play it as we go. Learn on the go. The absolute probably worst way to play magic, but that's how we're going to go. What's in your deck? No clue. Just kind of play some cards. But we are going to play against Henry Eats Cereal. Hope you enjoy that cereal. Hope it's not Kellogg's. Let's see, we got Cleric Class, Vitalize, bunch of white. Uh, seems decent enough. Get that Cleric Class out there early, like all the other players kept doing to us. Only fair. Got a Growling Dragon in the back, because he's snoozing. We got... Oh, I think we pissed him off. Play our planes, play our cleric class, get some extra life. Each time we gain life, we gain one extra life. Nice. Is that an instant? It is. We'll play Prolisara. Gains plus one, plus one counters when we gain life, and lets us scry. It's always nice. We can do some shenanigans with that, since this is a... Uh, Instant. We can totally pump her on the fly. And... yeah. <laughs> well, in that case, we will just get in with our core celebrant. And gain two life. <laughs> I'm assuming it's some sort of black-white... Well, it could be the black-white deck that... whatever they give you. It's not like they've been really... Making us fight against. Enters the battlefield. Chaining creature gets minus two, minus two. All right. All right. All right. All right. Well, that's fine. Because we've got our unicorn. Who is going to get bigger because of that? Player land. We're going to send a message and we're going to attack for negative one. Did that actually give him life? I think it did. <laughs> Vigilance when Thunderous Order attacks if gains flying until end of turn if you control a creature with flying the same oh, so he just gains a bunch of extra stuff. Fair enough. We would like to Uh we would like to attack with our unicorn. We would like to Gain three life and make him bigger. Bam. Take that. Five four to the face. Play our planes. And Nope. Pillar drop rescuer enters the battlefield, return target perch card with three or less. That's fine. I will take two. You got me, man. You got me out of my 28, back to 26. You got me good. Destroy target creature, planeswalker, great. Huh. Huh. We can... Play you? We would like to return our Moon Dancer to our hand because she lets us scry for a lot, and that is outstanding. No attacks. Click the gold piles. Um, sure. You got me good, man. See here, four. We can draw another land, that would be outstanding. 
and beautiful, because we would like to upgrade that. And we would like to play our Moon Dancer. Boom. We'd like to grow our flyer. Uh, we would like to leave her on top because I have a feeling he's going to kill this one. And we would like to get in for three in the air. Boom. I'm not too worried about him popping in for three here and there because, well, we've got 27 health. We're gaining a bunch of health. Uh, target creature gets plus three, and opponent sacrifices a creature. I would like to sacrifice you. And that's fine. Uh, target creature you, you control deals damage to its power to target planeswalker you don't control. When the permanent you don't control dies this turn, gain two life. Well, how convenient. Target creature you control, creature we don't control. We'd like to gain some life. We'd like to grow them. Boom! <laughs> Uh, just keep trying to kill our stuff. You targeted the wrong things from time to time. That's fine. We gain our coins, some XP, claim our prize. And we still have... Hey, we got 10 out of 25 already. This is honestly kind of a fun deck. I like playing creatures that get bigger. It's kind of like a somewhat speedy deck, but as you gain life to stay in the game, you also grow your creatures. It's a fun concept. I like the little bit of synergy it's got going. A fun way to play. Let's see who we're playing against. Dave Darko. With, I believe that is the Renin 7 character. Oh, terrifying draught. Uh, yeah, we would like to keep seven. That's a solid hand. We definitely need to play our tap plan first. That is an instant. We would like to play our prosperous innkeeper. And next, and turn. I think we play the Celebrant next to help bait out any... Maybe not. Any of your end step, if you control no creatures with the decay, create a 2-2. It's because he's got black and blue. Eh, it's a tough call. My turn. Uh -huh. I'd like to play you. And we would like to play... I think we're going to go with the Celebrant. See if we can bait out some... Uh, some damage. Some uh, destruction on our either Celebrant or Prosperous Innkeeper. Whenever one or more non-token creatures dies, create a 2-2 zombie creature token with Decayed. Okay. My turn. We would like to play. Uh, let's play the tree line. And the unicorn. That should be two separate sources of life. So, boom. It's 5 4. Uh, no text. And the turn. We also have uh, making people's treasure tokens. So if anything gets a little too crazy, that can only trigger once a turn. So he's only getting one, two, two a turn. Uh, yeah, 
nothing we can do about that. It's obnoxious. But not unexpected. It's hopeful that you cast it on something else. We get a cleric class. And we will boom. And we will level it up. Next. No attacks. In turn. We may have to destroy that. <laughs> We're probably going to have to destroy uh, the Champion of the Parish instead. Because that's going to get gigantic. Exile up to one target creature. Yep. Result. Nice. What you got going? That's fine. Resolve those decayed. Resolve that. Me block. Boom. Boom, boom. Resolve. Resolve. And my turn. Uh, yeah, we're just going to get rid of your champion now. And done. Need to draw some better stuff. We can eventually get back something good. You, you gonna do something, Dave? Okay, that's obnoxious. Other oh, zombies. Yep. My turn. For a celebrant. Now we're talking. Boom. Boom. Mm, boom. Put one on all of it. And... Nope. No decks. And our turn. Hopefully we eventually get a... Uh, fly or something useful. Or at least another way to just gain some more life on a continuous basis. Or just more creatures, because, I mean, shoot. We're gaining a bunch. I mean, it's each creature we're gaining, what, six life? Death Priest. At the beginning of your end step, if a creature dies, you may pay one to create stuff. Yep. And let's face. Is he going to attack? Uh, what is this? Front reunion. My turn. All right. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom. Uh, uh, nope. Uh, boom. Uh, nope. <laughs> Don't need any more lands. We need action. Uh, boom. That'll work. And next. Three, six. Uh, no. Really need some flyers. Hobbling zombie creates more zombies. We also need to get rid of this green lords he's got going here. But drawing a creature will get us a bunch of scries, unless he kills her. I don't think he can with one black. Maybe. But if he just kills her, we could eventually bring her back and gain a bunch of life, which will charge her up a little more. Be good times. 
Or he's just gonna sit there. Forever. There we go. We would like to play our prosperous innkeeper. You what you gonna do? You gonna exile a creature card to create a two two black zombie? Yeah, okay. Come on, buddy. I think he's getting mad at my life gain. Uh, we would like to boom. Uh, nope. Uh, and... Boom. Nope. And... Why not? Boom. Uh, stop giving us lands, man. Jeez. Okay. X is the amount of life we gain this turn. So far, that's a lot. So I think we're going to send her over and see what he's got. Because we're at 40, so I'm not even really worried about the backswing. That's fine. Boom. That death touch, and I was just not paying attention. I do believe so. That's on me. I think he understands and has been waiting. Eh. Why not? Let's give it a shot. See if he does. I imagine he will, but let's see if he understands. I mean, yeah. Yep. Good on you. Should have probably waited to have uh, two creatures in there. That's fine. So is anything else still have death touch over there? No, that's fine. We need some flyers. That was entirely on our fault. I didn't realize that thing had death touch. Which is obnoxious. Bum bum bana. Bum bum bana bana bum 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 bana. Resolve. 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 Pass. We'll block you. And we will block you. I will take 15. <laughs> Does not matter. <laughs> yep, resolve all. There we go. Resolve. Resolve. My turn. Yeah, we're talking. Boom. We're just going to make this guy huge. Mm, no attack. End of turn. Good old lifelink. <laughs> Playing one creature just brought us... Eight health. That's fine. Zombie coat opens with decay. Picks up two target cards from graveyards. That's fine. Oh, man. Getting tired. Not my enchantment that I have no way to bring back. My turn. Now we're talking. 
Let's get some more help. Boom. Just send him on over. Boom. 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 Next, send him on over to gain some health. We've also got our or fortifying draw. I don't know why I wanted to say that's a terrifying. How much health have we gained this turn? Eight? Not quite enough. Boom. Boom. And turn. We're up to 52. <laughs> I mean, maybe you've got a ton. That's cool. Get your cursors. Result. Bass. My turn. All right. Mm -hmm. We would like to uh, remove you. Make your zombies weaker. creature before we can send him over there with the uh, fortifying drop. Ugh, death touch. Or just a good flyer. Like, one flyer. It doesn't even matter. Come on. If you had first strike, then it would have been better, too. But, that's fine. Come on. Make your choice. Come on, Dave. Hey, he gave up. <laughs> Just, I don't think he could get past that 52 health. It was a lot of help. It was a slow burn game right there. Did we unlock our thing? Oh, we're three off. Three off. That's all right. Means we got it wrapped time for another round. Let's do it. Sorry, that round wasn't that exciting, but you can see how stalling and life gaining can just be obnoxious because without that, he easily would have just wrecked us. Let's keep the seven. I really don't like to mulligan all that often. As long as I have a playable hand, I'm willing to roll it. Because losing that one card can be horrifying. And turn. I think we're playing the same deck. Oh, we are. Yeah, we are. Jeez, double clear class. Okay. My turn. Let us play the... Uh, Wrenchway on green. Play Core Silver. Interesting choice. Play another celebrant. Boom, boom. Oh, that's boom. Take that one. Ugh. Obnoxious. Let's play you. Let's play you. Boom. Uh, nope. We would like some action. Ah, uh, yes. And a deck. And we'll play a lurking rover. We'll keep you. Keep you. Gonna have to do something about her. <laughs> we would like to play our land. And we would like to attack. Or a boatload in the turn. Righteous Valkyrie. That is fine. Pass. 
we would like to revitalize. Garbage. But hopefully draw something better. And eh, we don't really need that though. <laughs> Much faster. And I believe that was the at least the three spells that we needed to unlock our blue black deck. Is it that zombie one? Nope. Control center. Boom, 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 boom. This is why we do it. All the free cards. We got dragon turtles. Three, five, flash dragon turtle, the drag below. When dragon turtle enters the battlefield, tap it and up to one target creature and opponent controls. They both don't untap during the controller's next untap phases. So it comes into play and just sleeps another card. A growl. A black dragon with acid breath. When he comes to play, target creature and opponent controls get minus three, minus three until end of turn. Not bad. Contact other plane. A roll d20 for drawing cards and scrying. Tazim Royal Mage. 2-1 Kicker Merfolk. Where if you kick him, you can return an instant or sorcery from your graveyard of your hand. Elder Fang Disciple. I believe we have a few of those. Callous Blood Mage. Vampire Warlock. When he enters the battlefield, choose one. Create a 1-1 one -one Pest, which is the cute little bug on the side. Where he dies, you gain a life. You draw a card and lose a life. Or exile target player's graveyard. Jeez. Graveyard hate. Gelatinous Cube. Now we're talking. Uh, engulf. When Gelatinous Cube enters the battlefield, exile target non-ooze creature. Controls until Gelatinous Cube uh, leaves the battlefield. Dissolve. X and one black put target creature card with mana value X exile with gelatinous cube into its owner's graveyard. So you can uh, eventually eat it. If you could bounce it eventually, you could keep doing it over and over eventually, but it'd be really slow. Uh, mind flayer, dominate monster. When enters the battlefield, gain control of target creature as long as you control the mind flayer. Sweet. And a blue dragon, lightning breath, when he enters the battlefield until your next turn, target creature and opponent controls gets minus three. To another creature gets minus two. And one more gets minus one. They keep in mind they do say other, so you can't just lay that all on one creature, giving it minus six. That'd be pretty sweet, but it'd also be a lot nicer if it had flag. So you can do some combat tricks, but whatever. Imrith, the desert doom. That's ward four as long as it's untapped. Jeez. When he deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Then if you have fewer than three cards in your hand, draw cards equal to the dif difference. So he lets you draw a whole mess of cards. We got a whole new section of cards. Looks like we've seen most of these, except for the Bale from Mastery. You may pay one black and one colorless rather than the mana cost. If you do, an opponent draws a card, exile a creature card, or a planeswalker. A blue-black flip land, some ice tunnel stuff, undersea invader. Enters the battlefield tapped. Five, six. It's got flash, so it can't block, so it's just kind of a sneaky attacker that you play at the end of a turn. Yeah. Port of Carfell. Mill four cards, then return a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Oh, we got a few more. We got Comos Faithful. Dies each player, mills three cards, and the Soothsayer Adept. Draw a card, then ditch a card. Fantastic. We're looking pretty solid. Got 20 hours and we can earn a new deck. But it was fun. We had one really long match that kind of dragged out, but we did win all three, so that lifeline deck is pretty good. But we will unlock another deck when I see you all again in the next adventure. Bye for now.